guys welcome back to my channel today I have got a project for you which is beach skirt this is dedicated to Misha and you can see her channel DIY Misha I have made a promo on her channel her husband has let me do this and um, have a look and leave a comment below if you like it let's go ahead and get started here I have a thin jersey fabric it has got only one way stretch I have folded this way first and then folded this way as well so that's why you see one two three four layers of fabric here this is one meter of fabric I'm just going to take about eight to nine inches this is going to be the waist and the hip part of your skirt I'm just going to take so much and this is about eight and a half inches just measure eight and a half inches on both the sides and just make sure that it's straight and we're going to cut this off there's no pattern for this you can all you need is your measurements and your fabric so I'm going to trim this off and now keep that aside now this is your other part of the skirt so now you can do it both ways, lengthways and widthways. I'm going to fold it the other way around. So my stretchiness is this way. And you don't, it, this skirt, this is a bead skirt and so super simple and super easy. Okay, so we're going to fold it like so. And come back to it in a minute. So let me keep this aside. We're going to work on the main part. And this one, you're going to go and measure your hip line. So whatever yours is your hip line, divide it by half. And that's what you need to take here with the seam allowance. So the measurement I'm doing it for is 36 inches hip line. So I'm going to leave about so much there. This is for the seam allowance to kind of sew the seam and then we're going to go and measure the 18 inches which is half of 36 inches from there and instead of wasting the fabric I'm going to take it like so and place it. You can take a little bit extra if you like just in case um, it will sit a little bit loose it's not going to be a big deal. So. I'll measure it again there's my fold ending so including the seam allowance this is about 19 inches just gives me a little bit more ease that's absolutely fine so I'm going to place it like so we're just going to sew a seam here and then we're going to go and fold this for the elastic let me go and do the seam and come back and show you there is the seam I have just sewn in this is a zigzag stitch, a simple small zigzag stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it over like so and probably leave about an inch there. And we start off from the seam, go all the way around and end leaving about two inches of gap here because we need to pass the elastic through. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin it. I'm not showing you the sewing machine shots here simply because it's such a simple, um, simple skirt and I don't really need to show you how to sew because it's very, very simple. So go and pin like this and then we go ahead and sew all around. And then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Here I have sewn in the top part and I have left a little bit of gap here. Now I've also sewn in a, a little ribbon loop so that we can hang the skirt up on the hanger. And we're going to pass the elastic later on. So let's turn this over and that's how it looks. Now let's measure this part which is coming to about 18 and a half inches. Okay. So going to keep this on the side 
Okay, let's take the main fabric that we have folded earlier and uh, we're going to fold it into half like so. And there is your two folds and make sure the fold is sort of sitting in a straight line. It's very important. So we measured our hip line to be 18 inches, which is on flat. So let's take half of 18, which is going to be 9 inches. And just go and make that mark there. We're going to take half an inch less because sometimes this will stretch. So it's better to have a little bit less than too much. Then you'll have to end up pleating it. So just make a mark there. Now all I'm going to do is just cut this edge off. I'm not going to take any depth, just cutting it about one by eighth of an inch. And finish at the marking where I have marked. Okay, so now in the center we have got this hole. So let's take this top piece. And watch this carefully. I'm going to open this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it in the center like so and hold the bottom layer of my top and the bottom and place a pin. And then once I have that, all I have to do is just keep going around. and you just turn it where there's a sharp bend. It's quite easy to sew. It's not going to be very difficult because this is a stretchy fabric. We're just going to go around like that. When I finish doing, this is how it looks. So this is the band and this bit is the skirt. So all we're going to do now is going to go and sew a zigzag stitch all around this area. So let me go ahead and do this and come back and show you the finished skirt and all we have to do next is to pass the elastic. Here is your elastic. Instead of measuring it, what I'd normally suggest is go and tie this around your waistline where this line is going to fit and tie it tight. So, you know, it's kind of has the tension, not too easy, not too tight, somewhere where you're comfortable. And once you've done that, cut this off and then we're going to pass this elastic through this loop here, through the gap that we have left, and then we're going to close the gap and then close the elastic. With the help of a safety pin, let's pass the elastic through. This is a half an inch wide elastic. You don't really need a very thick elastic, though we have left an inch. I like the ease. So we're just going to go and pass this through like so. And then the elastic will come out like that. And now what we're going to do is place the elastic one on top of the other. This will create a little bit more tension and just go and sew a stitch starting and finishing with a back stitch. So the elastic will be intact. Let me go ahead and do this and then I'll come back and show you. There is the elastic that I've sewn in. I decided to do a zigzag stitch on the elastic. It will still stretch. So now basically just go and spread your skirt around like that and you're going to go and close this little gap with a zigzag stitch. So basically there is your beach skirt ready. And it has got all this uneven hem and you don't need to do any um, stitching at the bottom or the sides because this is a jersey fabric and it won't fray and it just looks finished. As long as you have cut out a neat edge, that's all you need.